I am Dr. Sahadala. I'm the chairman and the managing director of Kim's Health. I am also the chairman of HPI Kerala chapter and FIKI Kerala chapter. Nursing in India and in particularly in Kerala always have been providing nurses to the world. And while I was in, in the UK or in the US, both places you see a number of uh, Kerala nurses and Indian nurses. However, after COVID, the demand for nursing has unbelievably increased. And therefore, the, the, the nurses are leaving now, um, not in small numbers, in, 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 in there's an exodus of nursing, you can say. And that is happening uh, to Australia, to Canada, and to all the other you know, developed countries. The main reason, of course, everyone knows about that, the difference in the, in the salaries and the benefits we, um, you know, between India and also these countries is um, important, you know, it's a, you know, very, very attractive. And second is that nowadays they are attracting our nurses by providing the, um, a, an entire immigration for the family. Uh, immigration for the family, and that is how people are living. And um, this is this has caused a lot of strain in our healthcare. And uh, we have to learn to really face it in very innovative ways. Um, there is no doubt that we have to empower our nursing and uh, respect them much more than what they are getting now. And also, you see that within the limitations of our affordability, I agree, however, we need to raise their salaries also. And the nursing unions and nursing associations also should be reasonable because it should be a stepwise um, increase rather than a very steep increase which our care and our people cannot take it. Now, um, what other methods we can use? I think the motivation is important to our nurses and our nurses also can deviate into various other healthcare field, you know, for better opportunities. For example, um, nurses can go and try a civil um, exams um, like IAS or other exams. Um, nurses can go into management. In fact, even in our hospital, I'm encouraging many nurses to come into management. And uh, just like doctors, they can come into management. And uh, if you look at Australia, many of the hospitals are managed by nursing managers. They need to be exposed. They need to be given management training. And uh, so there is many things which we can do. At the same time, our production rate for our nursing also have to increase by quality education of the nursing. So even if they are leaving, let them leave in a good state so that they will have better communication, better um, service uh, delivery and um, they will be valued much higher and they will behave as ambassadors of our country. At the same time, we should not suffer and for which we should have quality nursing being produced at a constant rate. And as we know, we need millions of nurses more for our country because our healthcare is really coming to expanding fast to an international level is a challenge for every uh, big hospitals in India. And we have adapted uh, various mechanisms to empower them. Um, one of the main uh, thing is that we have looked at their career development and motivation. Career development means that we give them specialized training 
on the job for special specialities in nursing so that even after a few years they go then they will be better placed outside and many people are very willing to stay back and take a couple of years or three or four years of this training program and we just got more moreover it also motivates them very much the other methodologies we used to was um look at performance based increase in their um remuneration and compensation and uh, nurses are always given um a working time which is liked by them with the enough um days off so that that is remains always a motivation sometimes they work for 12 hours is uh, one of the things which uh, they are not happy about and that is one of the reasons many times they leave uh, institutions and go abroad so we keep the working hours very reasonable as well as um, increase their compensation and um, as i mentioned the career development and also um sometime we do the same thing the foreign countries do like if their husbands or family members are employable we give them preference uh, for them to get employed in this hospital or our sister concerns and institutions and therefore as a whole they received a very respectable treatment and from the doctors and all always we engage them in the rounds and as a as an integral part of care delivery in fact they are the main custodians of our patients and uh, they are with the patients most of the time and therefore they deliver a better care and uh, we as doctors are more dependent on them so this kind of empowerment and a good treatment given to them has encouraged them quite a bit and uh, our attrition rate has come down considerably and i should thank the nursing management also for uh, really initiating uh, these uh, methods to for the, to to retain them yeah in fact um, we have about um, 850 to 900 nurses in this hospital and uh, that's in this uh, trivandrum hospital alone and um, they are um, there was about 50 to 60 nurses being lost every month in the past and immediately after covid after the methodology and all we did i think now maybe it is much less and uh, if i put a figure it may be like 10 per month or so and uh, also the retention of the experience in nurses and uh, on the job training good induction program and um, you know good supervisors all that has helped and uh, so our attrition rate is very tolerable at this point of time